This video was sponsored by The Great Courses Plus. What's going on guys? I hope you're doing amazing today. For today's video, I wanna do something super quick and something that I know a lot of you guys are struggling with because I struggled with it for the longest time, and that's how to get high quality videos to your Instagram. We spend so much time making these amazing videos with all these cool transitions and colors and these cinematic shots. And what happens when you upload to Instagram is sometimes the quality just gets completely downgraded. It's really frustrating to work with um, especially when you put so much time and effort into a video and it just doesn't show to all your viewers as nicely as it could. So I'm gonna do a quick video today sort of explaining my workflow flow in order to get around this um, and how to get the most high quality um, video to Instagram. So the most important thing um, is gonna be your project settings in Final Cut Pro. So right here, I'm gonna go new project and we can open up our settings. Basically what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and make our video sequence as sort of low res or the maximum res that Instagram allows so that when we actually upload to Instagram, Instagram doesn't do any of the compressing. It will be all for us um, or as much of it will be done previous to posting to Instagram. So that's what we're gonna try and do and let's get to it. So first things first, don't use use automatic settings. That would be number one faux pas. Definitely don't do that because we want to have all our completely custom settings. So I'm just going to ch change the project name to Instagram. And then for our video, we don't actually want to use any of these because the actual maximum resolution for Instagram is standard definition, which is really frustrating too because we really wish it could be 1080p but there's so many videos being posted to Instagram that they have to down res the quality in order for it to be um, loaded as quickly as possible. So the size that we're actually gonna be working with um, is gonna be 640, and that's the maximum pixels in width that we can work with. So your video sizes, if you're doing a normal 16 by nine um, aspect ratio is gonna be 640 across by 360 tall. If you guys are going to do a square, obviously it's going to be 640 by 640. And if you want to do a 4 by 5 vertical Instagram, then it's going to be 640 by 800. And that's going to be standard definition. So frame rate doesn't matter as much. Um, Instagram can accept multiple frame rates, but just don't go above 30 frames per second. I like to do 23.98 or 24, just because then we can keep um, as much slow motion as possible. So for this, um, we'll just do 24, just to be easy. Projection type, leave it at normal. And then rendering 422 is fine. You could try high quality, but it's not gonna make a difference in this case because we're trying to get as small of a file size out of it as possible. And then audio, you can leave this. This isn't as much of an issue as well. What we're really concerned about is the video quality. So this is all we have to do to import our sequence. So now that we have this, you can load in your edit, whatever you sort of feel. I'm just gonna try and upload a clip here just so that I have something to show you guys. Okay, so now that we have a video sequence in here, this is a video that I posted a couple weeks ago. Um, so it's a exactly a minute long, and then we're gonna go ahead and export this with some very specific settings um, just to keep our sort of compression as high as possible. But that's okay, because we want Final Cut to do all the compressing, because that's gonna be smarter compressing and not let Instagram do any of that. So we're gonna go File, Share, and go Export. Um, if you don't have all these sort of different settings, go Add Destination, and you can change. So make sure you have Export File, um, and make sure master file is there as well. So if we exit out of that and go file share, we're gonna be working with our master file um, for this export. So go over to your settings over here. What we really wanna make sure of is that our video codec is H.264 and then faster encode. And that's really gonna allow us to get the maximum um, sort of compression. As you can see, our megabytes is estimated at around 24, which is actually really good for a 60 second video. We wanna get this as low as possible um, so that our bit rate is actually fairly low. So if we got this um, format, computer is fine. 
um, or you could do Apple devices, but as you can see, that's gonna make it even lower, which is probably actually too low for this example. So leave it at computer, leave that file size for a minute. We really wanna shoot for around that 20 megabytes, a little bit over is okay, but that's really gonna be the sweet spot for the highest quality. And then just hit next, and then we can save this Instagram test to our desktop and that will export super quickly because this is a standard definition movie. So keep in mind these settings are only for Instagram. Don't do this for YouTube, please. Um, that's definitely not gonna be what you're gonna want for YouTube. Um, I'm gonna do a video all on sort of up resing and getting higher quality on YouTube as well. So we can show that in our browser. And then I found the best way to get this onto my phone is actually using AirDrop. So make sure that you guys have or if you do have an iPhone, um, then definitely use AirDrop. If you don't have AirDrop and an iPhone, then you could either use Google Drive or Dropbox and then open it up on your phone. So to use AirDrop, make sure that um, you're on the same Wi-Fi network, really helps, and right click and go file, or right click share, and then AirDrop. And then as you can see, my phone pops up there, Mark Webster iPhone, oh, just disappeared. There we go. So. That will automatically send and then I'll open up on photos on my phone and then I will just upload to Instagram straight from there. So I think that is the easiest way to get the highest quality um, video on Instagram. I find that to be the best for me. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys try this and you think it works, then please let me know. I definitely think that it makes sense to try and get as much compression done in Final Cut Pro and not let Instagram do any of that because Instagram is going to have very bad compressors um, and it's just going to destroy the quality very easily. So before I end this video, I'd like to give a massive thank you to the sponsor of this week's episode, which is The Great Courses Plus. If you guys are interested in The Great Courses Plus, please go check out their website. What's really cool about them um, is that their subscription on demand video learning service um, with top-notch lectures and courses from top professors from the Ivy League and other great universities globally and experts from places like the National Geographic, the Smithsonian, and the Culinary Institute of America, which is really cool to get high quality teaching from an online lecture service. And if you guys sign up, there's unlimited access to a huge library of 8,000 video lectures about anything that interests you, science, math, history, literature, or even how to cook, play chess, or become a better photographer. What I actually thought was really cool um, is if you go to all categories, so it all opens up here, and they actually have a section for travel, which I thought was really cool. Um, what's cool about this is you could actually learn a little bit about a country before you go visit that, and I think that's going to give you a better experience when you do go visit that. So say you're going on Japan trip, don't just look at Instagram and find out all the cool locations to take photos of. Um, go watch a video like this, and you can actually get a better understanding of the culture if you're going to capture that. If you guys need a really good video on The Great Courses Plus to check out, then please go watch the fundamentals of travel photography. Um, this is taught by Bob Chris, and he's a National Geographic photographer who's been doing professional photography for over 30 years, and he's a really good veteran um, in the sort of industry. And he does a really good job um, of teaching all the fundamentals if you're getting into travel photography. And a lot of the principles like composition and lighting can be applied to videography as well, which is really cool. So if you guys need one to check out, then definitely go watch the fundamentals of travel photography. So Great Courses Plus is offering a free trial for everyone. So please go to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash Mark Webster and sign up for your free trial. The link is in the description down below, so please go check it out. And that is all I have for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of my idea for the video compression. I really hope it helps you guys and hopefully you get some high quality Instagram posts. And the video contest is still open for my year 2017 videos. If you haven't entered it yet, go watch my latest video and find out how you can enter it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.